Welcome to this fourth episode of this playlist about the settings and inputs of Ultimate SMSC EA. In this episode, we're gonna talk about what you want to trade and basically what are the entries that we're gonna use. Ultimate SMSC has multiple different entries that I'm gonna explain in details on that short, but let me go first to the settings. We can basically trade block breakouts with the stop orders. We can trade breakers with a limit. We can trade OTEs, so optimal trade entry. We can trade fair value gaps and we can trade inverse fair value gaps. We have different combinations. So we're talking, for example, about breaker and breaker inside a fair value gap or an OTE and OTE inside fair value gap or even where to put the limits for fair gap is it on the extremity, the middle, and same for inverse fair value gap. I'm going to take those examples one by one, and then I'll explain the C1 section, C2, and C3. So let's start here. I have already highlighted some examples on my chart. The first example, I'm going to talk about a block breakout stop. In this case, basically, I have a break that happens here my EA will put a stop order just at the top of this candle. You can, of course, shift the order. We're going to talk about this in the advanced settings in later episodes. You're going to put your stop loss based on your stop loss and take profit. And whenever the price reach out back the stop, basically the buy is triggered and the trade takes place. Another example or another entry is the limit. The limit is, for example, here, I have a breakout. I'm putting a limit order on the breaker. So the breaker is the last known uh, price that was breaked. And I'll wait till price go back to this limit and half triggering the trade. In this case, for example, my trade will not be triggered as the price didn't reach back the breaker. A variety of the breaker limit is to trade a breaker within a fair value gap, which is, for example, the case here. I have the fair value gap that is just right here. And I have the breaker just inside the fair value gap. So this is a valid entry for a breaker inside the fair value gap. A third type of entries is OTE limits. OTE basically will depend on the structure. So we wait until we have a valid block. So a move with a trend and a retracement. Once we have this, we have the swing high, swing low, which allow us basically to define the OTE. And in this case, if I'm trading a 50% OTE, I'll be putting a limit at this price and waiting really for the price to get it back and trade down. We can also have the variety of OTE inside fair value gap, which is the case also here. So I have a fair value gap. I have my OTE 50%, which is inside a fair value gap. So inside the higher price and lower price of the fair value gap and which gives me a, uh, the entry of OT. A fourth one or a, a fifth one before getting to the fair value gap is the inverse fair value gap. Inverse fair value gap is whenever you have a fair value gap like this one, so it's a bullish fair value gap, but it got unvalidated, means the price just cut it out. When the price go down, this inverse fair value gap is uh, created, and we just wait until the price goes up to it and goes down. So we can trade really the limit and we can trade the middle of this fair value gap. And the last type of entries is the normal fair value gap or standard fair value gap. Whenever we have a fair value gap, in this case, we have a bullish fair value gap between this candle and this candle. We have a limit order that is set here and whenever the price is getting back to this limit order, it, no trade is triggered and we have a trade. So basically that are all the uh, different type of entries. So to summarize, we have fair value gap, we have inverse fair value gap, we have the OTE elements, we have the breaker, and we have the breakouts. If we go back to the settings of the A, in addition of choosing the entry, we have several options that are available. The first option is for fair value gap. It will allow you to, to trade the oldest fair value gap, the newest or all fair value gap. I'm going to explain this. 
and you can set a kind of filter. Sometimes you have a very small fair value gap, a couple of points that is really not considered as fair value gap, so we don't trade it. Or we have a very large fair value gap that we don't want to trade. So we can set those filters and this information right here. You have the OTE level. In my example, I explained a trade on a 50%. However, you can change your OTE level wherever you want. So people can use a 61.8, someone gonna use the 70% uh, and so on. And the last part when the, within the entry is you can uh, also force the AA only to take trades inside premium and discount. By default, the premium and discount level is set to 50 and it's based on the blocks, swing high and swing low. However, you can change this premium and discount. Let's say if your premium and discount is really 70%, well, it's up to you to put this parameter inside. Let me get back to the uh, charts just to explain this part of the congregation. So all this you missed all and a little bit about the premium discount. Let us take, for example, uh, any swing, so this swing. Here, for example, I have multiple fair value gaps. So I have one here. I have another here. So basically, I have two fair value gaps and I have a signal just on this candle. So the idea if I'm trading fair value gaps, if I'm asking the A to trade the oldest, the oldest will be this one. So the oldest that have appeared on my graph. If I'm trading the newest, the newest will be this one. So the newest one that appeared on my graph. And if I ask the EA to trade all, basically gonna put limit order on both fair value gaps. As for the premium and discount, basically whenever a block is formed, let me take another block. So here we have a move down and we start the placement. So we have the ultimate high and ultimate low that are defined. If our entry is within our premium and discount, so simply Fibonacci here, if I have a 50% premium and discount, I would never sell here. However, I would have buy if I have the opportunity to buy. If you change the premium and discount for a custom level, well, the same would be respected. As example, if you put it at 70%, meaning your premium is here and your discount is just the zone that is below. And that's it for the entries. Hope this video is providing some insights and shed the light on the different uh, parameters that we have. Don't hesitate to like, to subscribe to our channel, and to hit the bell button for the newest video that will be published. Until the next time, thanks a lot.